New Year. This is Jeff Dumbarello, Director of the Southwest Florida Real Estate Investment Association, here to give you our update for December 2011 for the Lee County foreclosure trends. Uh, the trends at a glance, uh, 586 mortgage-related list pendants last month. Uh, for December, there was 570. For the previous December, we had 423. Uh, for certificates of title, there were 293 last month. Uh, November featured 548. The last December was 582. Deeds transferred. This shows the uh, certificates of title coming out of the clerk's office. Huge drop off from la well, actually last year was the beginning of a huge drop off with the robo uh, robo signing scandal. But we still had a fair amount of property being conveyed going into season to where now. Uh, there's just about one third. This is your total Liz pendants trend uh, from the beginning January of 07. Total Liz pendants called to from basically the peak uh, going forward. This thing uh, is a chart I use for me to uh, determine whether we're building inventory or whether we are. Uh, or reducing inventory and uh, you basically want to look at the uh, pink line is the is the deeds transferred this line is the Liz pendants and of recently we are we're filing more Liz pendants than we're disposing so we are building a backlog top 10 Bank America they've been in the lead for a while Wells Bank of New York Mellon Deutsch uh, it's pretty much been the same uh, same players for about the last four months in the top ten. Top ten certificates of title by banks. Uh, Fannie Mae controls the largest chunk of the REO market. They will be doing that for some time. At some point, I expect Bank America to kind of take the lead based on the list pendants filings. Notes, 2011 was a story of losing the bottom of the market and gaining the top. Uh, even the foreclosures are much higher. Uh, all data is exported from public records unless otherwise noted. Uh, we had a year-over-year -year and a month-over-month -month increase, uh, most of which were slight. Uh, the biggest question is where is inventory going to come from this season? Uh, the current phase appears to be three things. The banks clearing the backlog from their books and primarily the stuff that they, they deferred during the uh, robo-signing crisis, homesteaded properties and larger commercial assets. Uh, since January 1 of 06, we've had 78,053 uh, mortgage-related list pendants. Uh, this is normally something we feature just for the members, but we're going to talk about it this month because it's uh, uh, just give everybody a bonus here. Fannie Mae still holding the most REO inventory. This is from public records. Uh, one thing I did know, of my top 10 that I did, everybody reduced, every bank reduced their number that they had in public records. Uh, we currently have 398 as of about an hour ago, 398 active REO listings in the greater Fort Myers MLS for all residential property types. We have 537 pending. Last January we sold 621 REOs. Here to tell you about a great meeting we got coming up. It's our first luncheon of the year. Uh, we are at a new location. We're at the Olive Garden on Cleveland Avenue. Please note that. We're at the Olive Garden on Cleveland Avenue. It's this Thursday, January the 5th. Troy West is going to be uh, talking about how to build and promote a fan, a fan page on Facebook to grow your business. Uh, we do this quite actively with every business we have. And I have links to, uh, like the RIA website has a link from uh, the Lee County Clerk site, not Lee County Clerk, Lee County Property Appraiser site for foreclosure information. And uh, we're actually getting more clicks inbound from Facebook than we are from that site, which is a very high traffic site. So Facebook used properly can be, uh, it's not going to be the end all for all your traffic, but it certainly can augment what you're doing. Troy's very good at social media. She speaks in some colleges on this. So we're meeting, it's the Thursday the 5th uh, from 11.15 to 1. Uh, we're going to have lunch and networking from... Uh, I'm sorry, 11.15 to noon we're going to have lunch and networking. We have a slightly different schedule because of the new venue. The meeting itself will start in earnest at 12. We're in a private room at the Olive Garden on Cleveland Avenue. Thanks for watching this video. I hope it's useful in your business and make it a great day.